Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. Never do that. You! Now then, I hope you'll prove more entertaining than he was. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? Hmm. You've certainly seen your share of battles. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. I am about to show you what hell is really like. Well then, let's get started. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? Whoa. You're a tough one, but even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Here's where the fun really begins. Body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy. Aren't they? Your real target is the Philosopher's Legacy, isn't it? Yes, yes. Let yourself go. That's what I want to see. It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. <clears throat> Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession, in the underground vault of Groznygrad. You'll never live. What's this? A 
the transmitter. Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that. But he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras! What is it, Tanya? He suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana! You're the spy! What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. There, satisfied now. Well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Come, we're going to my room. <sighs> so you survived the Colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> you got lucky this time, Tatiana. <laughs>
prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're... Quiet! Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. <gasps> I'll be in touch. That's all gonna get infected. They're, ah. Uh, he's just gonna be a big pussy ball. No, I won't take my medication! Well, we're in. We're Seem in pretty jail healthy, though. Uh. And Hi. on the right side, you can see black, since he can only see through one eye now. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. You Arbat. got an Arbat. Hmm. Fork. I also have a fork. That's awesome. And, uh, the fork works just like the knife, does the same damage, does has the same animation and all that. But it has one other special thing. Also, cure screen. Uh, bullet got lodged in there when we got shot. And there's something else in there, too, that I think the boss put in there. Also, Ocelot punched the transmitter back into his back. And it's beeping. So we'll, beep, we want to take beep. that out. Beep, 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 beep. Although something happens if you leave the transmitter in for later... Yeah, I'll Ooh. show that off, though. Oh. Yeah. I guess I'll just have to wait oh, hey. in suspense. When we took that fake, when we took that bullet out, we also got a fake death pill. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. I was gonna think about food, but no. Oh yeah, we have that revolver. No ammo, but if we look in first person view, uh, we can do this. <laughs> Snake wiggles is. Oh. Yeah. Oh dear. Do it yeah. in front of the guard. I don't know if I do. Uh oh. But if you do, he get he yells. At you. <laughs> hey guy, look look at this. Look 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 oh, look look! I'm doing stuff for you. I'm doing tricks. I'll be out. He's a terrible guard. He doesn't even look at you. Yeah. So anyways, this is what happens when you hit an animal with the fork. Damn. You instantly eat the animal. And they just really? explode. Snake? Major, you're all right. Uh, I wouldn't say all right, but at least I'm alive. That's good enough. But they took all my weapons and equipment from me. Well, you've still got your radio and medical items with you. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Perhaps Fulgin's not finished with you just yet. Yeah, well, I'm not finished with him yet either. Snake, you've got to escape from that cell somehow. There must be a way. Use your head. Snake, your right eye. Mm. The cornea and the lens are severely damaged, and the eyeball is ruptured. So... So I can't heal it, even in the survival viewer. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, Snake. I wish there was something I could do. Don't worry about it. I can still fight. I don't doubt you. But don't do anything crazy, okay? From here on, it's going to be difficult to see out of your right eye. Attacking in first-person view will feel a little different from before. Be careful. Snake, the door of the cell is set up to open when it receives a radio signal on a certain frequency. If you only knew the frequency, you could use your radio to open the door. Snake, I wanted to ask you something. What? In the torture room? Why did you protect me when Ocelot was about to fire? Because I knew that the chamber wasn't empty, and you'd be dead if he pulled the trigger. But your eye... I was tied up, and it happened so fast. It was the best I could do. I feel a little strange, but it won't interfere with the mission. 
What about me? Huh? Did you only save me because I was important for completing your mission? What other reason would there be? And when the mission is over? Right now, it's just the mission. The mission you used to love? That's not what I mean. Ugh. Ugh. There are multiple ways to actually escape from this jail cell. The easiest one is the one Sigan mentioned, which is uh, the radio frequency that you can see. Or you can Sorrow take a nap, give you. apparently. Yeah, we're actually going to take a nap and do this, because there's an we're Easter egg. We're taking a nap snake? here. Snake? <sighs> snake? My mouth hurts when I talk. Did you get cut up? <sighs> Feels like someone shoved me under a lawnmower. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Snake, have you ever heard of Renfield? Is that a movie? It's the name of a character. He's locked up in a cell waiting for the master to return, eating the spiders that crawl along the walls. Change the channel. He waits and waits for ages. Finally, just as he's beginning to forget whether he's human or not, the master comes for him, saying the time has come. Renfield is overjoyed. Wait, isn't this... The master spreads his huge wings and a gust of wind fills the cell. Come on, I don't want to hear this. And there, standing before Renfield in human form was... Dracula! Exactly! If you stay there too long, your old buddy Dracula is going to come and get you too. So you better start thinking of a way out of there. <clears throat> you better not leave me without someone to talk to. <clears throat> Please, Snake, think. There's got to be a way out of there. I'll try. Okay. Just let me know if you start having nightmares about Dracula. Uh... Time to go to sleep. 